You don't really know much about Halloween. Hello and welcome to another Sinister Snacks. I'm your host, Laura. I'm Joel. And we're the Newly Deads. And there's Bailey. He's curled up like a little skeleton on Joel's lap. Today, we've got a triple threat of popcorn. Three bags of, what is this stuff again? Be happy. Be happy snacks. Be happy, man. Yeah, it looks kind of like lesser evil, but it's not. It does look like lesser evil. It's be happy snack. Yeah, what is let, let's let's look at be happy. So Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio. We brought be happy snacks to life with a vision to transform ordinary snacking into extraordinary moments. Every bite embodies our culinary creativity, the delight we wish to inspire, and our commitment to our vibrant community. Thank you for joining us on this flavorful adventure. From our kitchen to yours, the D'Amelio family. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. So it says be happy snacks. Welcome to Be Happy Snacks. Born out of the D'Amelio family, love for creativity and passion for bringing people together. We're all about sparking joy and satisfying cravings with fun, uh, unexpected snacks that make your taste buds dance. Our unique flavors reflect our passion for culinary creativity and our commitment to building a lively community for food lovers. Um, our mission is to turn everyday snacking into an experience full of flavor and delight. Snacking should be more than just a quick bite. It should be an experience of discovery and delight, full of unique flavors and memories with ingredients you can pronounce. We're here to help you celebrate the simple joys and share unique experiences one snack at a time. Let's turn everyday moments into happy adventures. Be, uh, BeHappySnacks.com. Follow along on Instagram at BeHappySnacksCo. You can scan for exclusive prizes and experiences. Um, it looks like it is... They're manufactured at D'Amelio Brands in Hollywood, California. Oh, that was my question. Where are they located? They are gluten-free, low-sodium, popcorn, sunflower, soybean, sugar, buttermilk, uh, non-fat milk. Looks like coconut oil, co uh, corn syrup. So it's not vegan or anything like that, but it is gluten-free. So it's, it's vegetarian, though. Well, it's popcorn. Right? Yeah. Yeah, there's no um, meat in it. Know. There, there could be, there could be meat chunks hiding inside the kernels. No meat chunks. Because I've had meat chunk popcorn. It's hundred percent whole grain popcorn. No artificial flavors. Extra large, crunchy kernels. This happens to be cotton candy flavored. Which my wife, truth be told, likes cotton candy flavored things. I do. Things. This one is called Nice Spice. Which, oh, it looks like it's spicy. I, I, we had to get it because you know I'm not big on spicy, but they, they had the, these three kinds were like. We should try all three, because that's who we are. And then we've got maple bacon. Which maple bacon. Sometimes uh, bacon and maple, the maple overpowers the bacon. So and we'll then it see. it becomes too much, so it's a little bit uh, weird. Yeah, but... this has got like little peppers on the front. So we got spicy, super sweet, and savory sweet. I feel like we should go... You're wanting to go like meaty to spicy to sweet like dessert. Or you've got a different plan. We didn't plan this ahead of time. I, we didn't. Yeah. I think we should do should we do spicy last. Oh, I was going to say do spicy first. Yeah. Oh, it's going to wreck your, maybe mm -hmm. may wreck your taste buds. Okay. Uh, I, I, sweet, meat, spice. But still sweet and then spicy. Yeah. I'm not a fan of cotton candy, so I'm just going to say that up front. I'll try and judge it based on the quality of the popcorn and, um, you know, that sort of thing. But it should be a little bit more. Oh, no. The audience would <laughs> For the cotton candy aspect. Uh, my youngest likes cotton candy, so maybe they'll help eat it. Who knows? I'm going to grab a couple of kernels. Sorry, I went ham there on the... That's right. Okay. Oh, wow. I like the look of it. I don't know. You guys aren't going to be able to see it from there because yeah, they're, they're too They far are away. big, fat kernels, and they but smell they good. they are, like, oh, no. super big, fat, popped. Like, sometimes when you buy pre-popped... I dropped it. Uh, it's under your foot. Right there. Um... 
<laughs> it kind of reminds me we uh my my wife is a Kwanian and we uh oh kettle corn it reminds me of the kettle corn that we sell at the the uh, fair that we make as Kwanians, which I'm just a pseudo Kwanian, but anyway. Uh, it looks like that to me. He's a Kwanian by association. I'm a, an adjacent Kwanian. Cheers before you chew. But it smells really nice. It looks really nice. I got it at Walmart. Um, it has a very subtle flavor. It's not like a punch you in the face like <laughs> cotton candy flavor. No. And we've had a lot of, like, um, one of our places we like to go visit is... Um, uh, in Galena, is that where they have the popcorn store? Oh, yeah, yep. Um, and there's a there's a gourmet popcorn store, and you walk in, and you know you're just thanks overwhelmed by uh, you know all these flavors and everybody's really high end, like fancy popcorns where like a little bag is like seven dollars. This is good. Um, and that's actually what this kind of reminds me of. And and it doesn't taste like cotton candy, like you know, like overly sweet mm -mm. saccharin kind of like you know. You get like a. My wife likes to call it a whisper, but like in a good way, like a whisper of cotton. Like I don't hate that, and I'm I'm not a cotton candy fan. I'll eat it occasionally just for the heck of it. That's really good, but I'm I'm surprised at at and how it, kind of subtle it is. Yeah, and it is you know, and it's not too salty. No, it's, it's the right amount sweet. of yeah. So good job so one? far. Yeah. All right. Well, Pretty I'm gonna, happy. And there's, if you want, you go to their site. They've got a, or look at their bags. They got their family on the back. It's nice. You can open this one. Hopefully, I'll do a little bit better than I did. I was doing so well, and then I just like tried to get it a little bit more open, and then I just went. Bailey was like, "Yeah, I'm getting angry." Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh, that it's almost tastes spicy to me. But it's, I mean, it smells no. spicy. Yeah. I was like, "You're, you're tasting." It tastes smelly, spicy, air. something. Hmm. It, I mean, it just kind of has a. It wasn't quite what I was expecting the smell to be. Here's for you, chew part two. Like it almost smells a little spicy. I know it's not going to be, but definitely not overpowering with the maple. That's always the biggest concern when you eat maple bacon. I don't generally buy maple bacon things. You're right. It does have a little heat. The maple is usually overpowering. That's weird. Three. And three quarter cups is 150 calories. Did I read that right? Yeah. You can almost eat four cups of this and it's 150 calories? Yeah, it's popcorn. I mean, that still seems, I mean, when you have flavored popcorns oh, yeah. and stuff, the, the calorie count tends to go up. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a lot of food for mm -hmm. not a lot of calories. All right, I took probably more than I needed. It's got like a, a good amount of seasoning. I think it's black pepper. Is the there's the bacon? Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I would say is that with this one, it's a little heavy on the black pepper. It's and I it's not it. not super consistent. Yeah, like some of them I'm getting like that's the first time I actually got bacon. The rest were just kind of sweet pepper. Yeah, I'm wondering if I take it out. Yeah. Maybe that's the secret. You actually have to rip the bag all the way open for it to blend right. I'm going to say so far, I actually like the cotton candy better. Which is astounding to me. Is it any different? Mm -hmm. you shook it up? No? Okay. It's not bad. It's just, it's not... Interesting. Not what I was hoping for. I was hoping for a little more bacon and a little more sweet, not as much cracked pepper. Or whatever it, is it is funny though. It's like bacon, maple, and you can see a little tiny like like peppers. Weird. Well, I mean, I know you know a lot of times there's like cracked pepper bacon. Mm -hmm. um, I like it, and I don't like oh yeah a lot a lot of pepper. That's but, me. I love mm. cracked pepper bacon, like pep like black pepper. We bought some before, and we made it into pig candy, and uh, that's my jam. It was it was good, but woo, sometimes it got super heavy on the yeah. Pepper. Although lately Ooh, I have a, a good I've not been wanting to eat meat. Whoa whoa. Whoa. Spicy. Whoa. Did you Blow shake your it? roller. Did you shake up the... I didn't. I forgot. Oh, that smells good. It smells good, but it didn't punch you in the face, man. It smells really good. I'm very excited. It's very orange. Yeah. I'm actually like, I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to this yeah, one. Yeah, it smells right. good. Here's for you, two, part three. It's got a really nice flavor. What does that smell? Mm. What does that smell? 
I know that smell. Onion powder. I'm not sure. It's a very specific spice. Garlic, spices, paprika. Paprika, that's it. Like that smell is very familiar. This this, this tastes good. Paprika, yep. It is nice spice. Let me hit it one more time, baby. Like Britney Spears. I was going to make another joke, but I refrained. Probably for the best. I really like this. It's almost, um, to me, like, um, like a combo between a... Hmm. Indian Mexican kind of like flavor profile, you know. I can see where you're going. Yeah, I can see that. Curry ish. Hmm. You know, because it's got paprika. I actually think I, I was afraid this was going to be. I thought cotton candy is going to be my least favorite, followed by this one, and then maple bacon was going to be my winner. I gotta say, I think I like this one the best. Then cotton candy. People bake it. Yeah. It seems kind of... But... Yeah. There you go. I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah. I mean, between that and lesser evil, they, they're making me think that, you know, bagged popcorn isn't always that bad. I usually stay away from pre-bagged popcorn. Agreed. All right. So, um, I say we, we hit them up quickly, one, each one individually, because they're very different. So, we'll start with uh, cotton candy first, out of ten. Seven? I was thinking six. Maple bacon out of ten? Five. I was going for a three. Sorry. You're watching. Be happy. I'm sorry. And nice spice. Nine. Whoa. I was going seven. I'm going to eat this. Stop it. <laughs> I mean, you can eat it, but not right now. Why not? It's my breakfast. I was going to say, we have to have breakfast first. It's early right now. <laughs> In case you didn't know. I really like that. Yeah, I, I a lot of credit to them. I didn't know what to expect because it looked it looked very much like a lesser evil bag, and we're we're big fans of lesser evil. Um so we were like, can it match up? I'd say you I love spicy food. You're uh you're you're right on in par with each other. It's impressive. Yeah. So if you'll be happy. I'll put their link to their site here and then uh when Made you're done happy. there, uh please stop by thenewlydeads.com. Check out all of our stuff we got on there. We put out things six days a week of new content for you to check out. Um, also, we're going to be at the Summer Ween event at Wolf Hollow coming up at the end of May. It's going to be May. Um, 2024. So you come see us there. All the information, um, I'll put the link up, or the poster up here. You can check that out. If you have any questions, reach us at contact at thenewlydeads.com. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Like the video. Share it with your friends. Uh, you know, help give us a little boost. You know, we're we're making great strides, but we'd like to uh, take this a little bigger. And we're doing so much work, not getting anything. You know, not this asking for hobby, money. It's a but hobby. We want it we to be our paid, jobby. But we'd like to make it to where it's you know something where it gives uh, a little bit more. Maybe we could start focusing on it, and uh, you know, make it our full time gig. Who knows? But if not, we're enjoying ourselves either way. Plus, we get good snacks. Yeah. All right. So until next time. We'll quit yakking. Oh, and we'll get back to snacking. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.